She was having fun. That's what She was my... loving her life. She was getting younger by the day almost. You know, he stole her from us. He, he stole really her did. At her new peak almost. Yeah. Mother, grandmother, friend to everyone. Lea Adria Sioko was brutally murdered at the place she probably loved the most, the North London allotment she helped to run. On the day her killer was jailed, Leah's son and daughter were determined the world should understand what they had lost. When this happened, I said the heart had been ripped out of our family, and it has been. I you think, know, yeah. She was the centre around which we all orbited. And as for their mother's killer... I'm just glad that he's not free and um, yeah. he won't be able to do this to anybody else. A fellow allotment holder, Rahim Mohammadi, was today sentenced to life imprisonment with a minimum of 19 years for Leia's murder. The court had been shown CCTV images of him heading to the Collingdale allotments that day. Police say they'd been an argument with the 80-year-old allotment secretary which ended when Mohammadi strangled her with a mower cord before leaving her body in a locked shed. Seen here after the killing, Rahim Mohammadi is an Iranian granted asylum in the UK. His victims' family say they don't blame the asylum system or the Freedom From Torture organisation that found him a place on the allotments, just the individual. Some people I've seen have been making play about the fact that, you know, he's an immigrant or a yeah. refugee, and this is nothing to do with that. These are the actions of one... Very sick very individual. Very wicked individual. Yeah. And where they came from and what they are is nothing else to do with it. And trying to make mm. that kind of capital out of it is the kind of thing my mother would not have stood for at all. A remarkable woman whose family are determined in the most appalling circumstances to be her fitting legacy. Paul Davis, ITV News.